Karibu sana kwenye Foods254. I want to thank our loyal viewers for subscribing to our channel, sharing our content and giving us a thumbs up. Our new viewers, tafadhali please subscribe, share our content, give us a thumbs up too. And before I introduce our chef today, I want to talk about something called iron deficiency anemia. Well, from the name, this actually implies that uh, it's the insufficient amount of iron in our bodies. And this leads to, um, when you have uh, iron deficiency, you tend to feel dizzy, you're weak, pale, fatigue. You just, you know, your bones just become weak. And today, with my chef, Chef Edwin Karibu Sara, we chose a special meal for you guys um, so that we can just talk about the iron deficiency and what, what, what are we supposed to eat. And um, Chef Edwin, I want you to just introduce yourself. Uh, my, name, uh, my name is Edwin Odiambo, Chef. Uh, um, I love cooking. Uh, today, as you've been told by Sela, we are tackling the issue of um, iron deficiency. Yeah. So um, on set, um, we have we have liver, we have spinach, um, diced tomatoes, we have dill. Dill is um, it adds flavor to potatoes, and dill. It also adds flavor, a lot of flavor to to fish. The thing about dill is you actually add it to food at the end of cooking because if you overcook dill, the taste uh, goes flat. We have garlic, we have um, dania. Other people call it cilantro Not or coriander. coriander. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, before we even go uh, deeper into the food, yeah. you just told them your name. Where are you from? Uh, I'm a chef at a place called Rustic Heaven. Rustic? Rustic Heaven. Heaven. We are located, we are located in um, Rongai, Ongato Rongai. Uh, we are about uh, 300 meters from a supermarket called Gravity Supermarket. Um, so <laughs> that's where I work. Okay. <laughs> no, that was, your t that was your time to shine, actually. So as you've heard from uh, Chef Edwin, we're preparing liver which is a very rich source of iron in our bodies. We are preparing spinach, also rich uh, source of iron, and this can be served with mashed potatoes. It makes it a balanced diet. It's not all about the iron deficiency or anemia. It's also having a balanced diet on your table. So let's start. For starters, uh, we have potatoes. The potatoes, you pre-boil them. Okay. Uh, our potatoes are already done. Just uh, about uh, finishing it up. The next thing we want to do is we want to cook the liver. So, um, Sela, I, <laughs> I think you can continue mashing your potatoes. Are you for real? I thought you were going to tell me to prepare the liver and don't you dish. Okay, and you've been in this industry for like forever. How long? I've, I've been in this industry for more than 15 years. Guys, 15 years. I know you're asking how old is he, Suambie. <laughs> 15 years. So, um, guys, again, um, if you need a t-shirt, we are selling Foods 254 t-shirts, just promoters. They are very cheap. We have the round neck, we have the polo t-shirts, we have uh, hoods, hoodies. Chef Edwin, we are selling t-shirts, all sizes, Zico. Let's continue. Okay. So, um, we'll take a bit of oil. Okay. Just a bit of oil. Onions. So, add in a bit of onions. Okay. Uh, the onions, it depends with, um, if you want a lot of onions, if you want less onions, that's, um, it's optional, actually. Okay. So as we wait for the onions to brown, yeah. um, can you pass me the garlic? Garlic. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> it's hey, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm waiting for the onions to brown. Okay. Uh, garlic. Garlic adds a lot of flavor to food. Tell them. Apart from apart from the aroma. <laughs> yeah. Apart from the aroma, 
<laughs> uh, garlic is good for your heart also. Yeah. So using garlic, whether you use a lot of it or or kidogo or kidogo, it's it's quite it's good for beneficial. the heart. Yeah. Yeah. There are so many types of foods that you can eat that are rich in iron. We have beans, we have the beef, we have um, eggs. So if you're vegetarian, we have beans, we have lentils. This is just one of the richest, as I said earlier, yeah. the liver. So we're going to add the liver. So you don't boil your liver? No. What uh, happens to people who boil liver? Um, boiling liver, is, um, you actually lose a lot of nutrients when you're boiling the liver. Mm. So and I understand that people who even eat it raw. Yeah, there are people who take it raw. Um, I don't want to mention them. <laughs> <laughs> no. There are people who take the liver raw. <coughs> okay. uh, I'm, not, I'm not telling you any, anyone who's watching to take it raw. Yeah. But the thing is, uh, liver, when you boil it, it loses a lot of nutrients. Because you'll actually be praying all the nutrients out. Um, the thing about, about some frying it mm. is when you when you're adding it to the to the onions mm. the brown onions and the garlic um, the hot pan actually seals in the um, the nutrients okay wow this yeah. guy i'm telling you i can experience and he's worked with but when you you know prominent people what has been your experience working with uh, you know all these people uh the experience so far has been has been good okay because I've, I've, um, I've done food for a number of celebrities okay. um, local and international wow I've, I've done food for two presidents two yeah, presidents the ex, the ex president right now wow I've done food for them <laughs> okay um, uh, before I see tents hmm. it's like um, it's like when you're having a stage fight sorry when you are talking to an audience for the first time, yeah, there is that aspect of of, of stage fight. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, uh, it happened to me before. <laughs> so I, you serve at the same time you prepare and serve. How about you just prepare? It's it's preparing the meals and plating them. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Can be. So the first time, what was your experience? The first time. The first time I in the kitchen. No, 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 no. With the celebrities. Maybe the celebrities. Yeah. I I freaked out. <laughs> you freaked out. Yeah, that's 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 <laughs> what happened. You know, that's the time things just backfire. A lot of things backfired on that day, but, <laughs> but for, me, you for me, it was it was actually a learning experience. Okay. I learned a lot. Yeah. I learned how to control myself around people. Yeah. Um, talking to people mostly. Mm -hmm. So what happens when a customer tells you? Well, you get a report that. People are complaining that food was not all that. Um, or you are yaku ina kwanga tuuku. No, the thing is, um, <coughs> um, a lot of a lot of people um, when they when they actually um, critic your food or talk mm -hmm. about your food, yeah. I I don't see it in bad light. You don't take it negatively. I don't take it negatively. Yeah. It's actually um, something I can learn from. Yeah. Uh, I think, for me, um, the best person who can critic my food is if you're cooking for younger people. Yeah. Or oh, the baby, the kids. You're cooking for kids. So you only take critics from kids. No, <laughs> it doesn't mean that. But because um, kids are honest. But you know, uh, apart from kids being honest, mm. there's this aspect uh, about uh, kids and their palate. No, oh, okay. If a kid likes your, your food, um, I think even an adult will, will, will do the same. So the thing is, kids' palates um, are still, are still um, they are sort of, I can say, naive to a lot of things. Okay. So when they taste something for the first time and it's actually good, mm. an adult will also consume it comfortably. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So the liver, we, we are cooking it for about, um, about 10 minutes or so. Okay. Um, and guys, if you want such uh, amazing meals uh, for yourself or for a party or a group, at Foods 254, we are also doing catering services. So we got you covered this season. Tutafute and Rustic 
Haven. Nilikuwa nasema waje. Haven. Is the way you were pronouncing it. Last <laughs> Haven. Last Haven also there. Yeah. Co covered. <laughs> Rustic heaven or heaven yeah. is just, let me say, three months old. The place is, it's really, everyone is talking about rustic, 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 rustic. Is it the chefs, the food? Um, <laughs> one thing about rustic heaven is our uh, selling point is the food. Okay. Um, number two, it's the ambience. You have quite um, a good space um, it's decorated mm. um, with natural plants and all that yeah then uh, another thing about rustic heaven is um, when you need a place that's um, that's um, alcohol free um, it's tranquil so there's no pombe there we don't sell we alcohol, don't sell alcohol. <laughs> yeah, we need to give you some. <laughs> so the thing is our liver is um, done oh we need to add in the the, the what cilantro coriander dania hey hey sawa <laughs> hey so our liver is done okay so as i told you before um how much potato is already done okay Sorry. First, we taste the, the mm -hmm. salt, and the mashed potatoes. Maybe. Yeah, I yeah, can taste. <laughs> yeah, I can taste. The salt is on point. Okay. Th that's so easy. I mean, we are done. <laughs>